So guys, I regret to inform you that we have another death in the music family. I just want to have a moment of silence for Fifth Harmony. All kidding aside, as you guys know, uh, Fifth Harmony has decided to go their separate ways <laughs> and break up. And it does not really surprise me, and I'm gonna tell you why. So what's up everybody, I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician right here on YouTube. Today I'm gonna be talking about Fifth Harmony and their recent news about them deciding to break up and go their separate ways. Before we begin today's video, please scroll down and hit that like button. It really helps my channel get in front of a lot more people. Also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Uh, today, I'm gonna be doing kind of like a news, like update, you know, on this whole issue. I kind of wanted to weigh in my opinion on the whole Fifth Harmony breakup thing. Now, as you guys know, Fifth Harmony is a, uh, an all-girl group, all-woman group, however you want to say it, that was formed back in 2012 being on The X Factor. Now, what happened was this all-girl group, they went on this show, they auditioned like separately, you know, and much like One Direction did, they auditioned separately, they didn't make it through, and then Simon Cowell or whoever decided to put them all together in one giant group, make this super group, sold millions of records and became like the next big thing. They were basically like the female version of One Direction because that's exactly how One Direction got put together. This actually plays to my theory not that they weren't successful, but this plays to my idea as to why they didn't last very long. I mean, six years is a long time. Um, it's longer than a lot of people can say. There's a lot of one hit wonders out there in the music industry, but um, these groups that, that come and go like this, you know, One Direction, Fifth Harmony, I think one thing that they all have in common is they are very artificial in the way that they are formed. Things that are artificially put together that don't have like an organic origin or that don't come together naturally i feel just like food you know they don't last very long and if they do last long it's very unhealthy and it's uh it's not going to do much good for your body it's not going to do much good for you so you have these groups these people that go to these um these tv shows like x factor the voice all that stuff and they audition they don't make it through but these producers see dollar signs or they see that they can make this super group from all these people that didn't you know uh make it as solo artists they kind of like frankenstein this group together to make a super group of all these amazing singers which is great totally fine but at the same time you're kind of forcing something together that was never meant to be together in the first place i do believe that this is a case of something that wasn't even meant to be together kind of being forced to be together and it lasted longer than everybody expected it would at least me i thought it was going to end a long time ago but you know it went for a while which is pretty good and now we're at the point where like you know one member already left she probably saw the the daylight before you know everybody else did and she was very smart to leave the group a lot of people hated on camila but i commend camila for deciding to leave the group when she did and starting her solo career because now she has a leg up on everybody else that was still in the group and she has all these hits she's got success on her own terms her own level and all that stuff and now these other girls they kind of have to live in the the shadows of her they have to build their own solo careers and now that this group is breaking up and all of them are gonna pursue their solo careers they're all gonna be competing against each other. Tear the fans in multiple different directions. Oh, she's my favorite, she's my favorite, this, this, that. And then sales are not gonna do very great, in my opinion. But the reason why Camila was so successful is because she left when she did and she didn't have to compete with her other old bandmates. She was just competing with just Fifth Harmony. Anyway, that's beside the point. So I, I'm really not surprised that Fifth Harmony broke up. Um, the statement that they issued on Twitter, which is what I saw uh, on, was this yesterday? Yeah, this was yesterday morning. So they said, uh, reflecting on the past six years since we started on X Factor, we've realized just how far we've come and appreciate everything so much more now than ever. Um, I mean, they're basically, you know, just trying to give it like a positive message, you know, trying to say that this is like, 
you know, nothing bad happened. It's just time that, you know, we, uh, you know, go our separate and all that stuff. But anyway, um, after six years of going hard nonstop, we also realized that in order to stay authentic to ourselves and to you, we do need to take some time for now to go on a hiatus from Fifth Harmony in order to pursue solo endeavors. So just as I thought, they want to stay true to themselves and true to their fans. And that lets me know that staying in this group would mean that they are fabricating something that they don't want to put out. Like they're being forced to make this music in this group and it's something that's being forced out of them. So they wanna be authentic to themselves, authentic for the fans. And the only way to do that is to leave this group, which lets me know this group is, is not authentic. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, the music that they put out there is not real or that it's not good or anything like that, but it was literally forced together and it was together for longer than it needed to be. I felt like they got to the point to where they were kind of milking these girls for this music. And they probably started to suffer behind the scenes for that. And that's why one of the members left. So then they go on to say, we are all very excited and grateful to be able to take this time and learn, grow creatively and find our own footing as individuals, as individuals, which is how they auditioned in the first place, as individuals. They went to X Factor, auditioning as solo acts, expecting to succeed as solo artists. And after auditioning for that, they were slapped in this group together with other girls, which I know they agreed to because, you know, who doesn't want to have a record deal and be famous and have all this money and all this stuff? Of course you agreed to that. But the original idea and intent that they had, just like One Direction, was to audition as solo people. So now they're pursuing their actual desires to be solo artists. Um, in doing this, we are allowing ourselves to gain new experiences, strengths, and perspectives that we can bring back to our Fifth Harmony family. To our harmonizers, thank you for everything we have been able to build as Fifth Harmony. Uh, with your love and encouragement, we will we will continue to build on ourselves, support one another in everything we do, and keep making you proud, each other proud, and ourselves proud. We do have upcoming shows. Blah, blah 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 and then they say with all the love blah 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 all that stuff so like i said it kind of confirms my ideas this group was frankenstein together by simon cowell who did the same thing to uh one direction and it's a very smart business move i understand it and also you know they did get success out of this they did they were able to pursue their dreams but it was just on different terms that they originally wanted to and now that they have that opportunity this band is disbanding and they have the opportunity to pursue their careers as they originally intended. Again, I'm not really surprised that they broke up. Like I said, these reality music singing TV shows, they don't really produce like superstars anymore. Fifth Harmony, One Direction, like these groups were very successful for a reason. Obviously, there is a market for like pop groups for teen audiences and all that stuff. But usually these shows can you name the last three winners of the voice and where they are now can you name the last three winners of american idol and where they are now and what they're doing how successful are they you can't because nothing happens these shows are merely just for entertainment purposes and not to really build the careers of actual artists and i think this would have been a totally different story if this group were organically put together um, if they formed with the intent of being a group Destiny's Child lasted as long as they did because they were put together organically. They didn't get placed together by Simon Cowell and a bunch of people like record execs saying, oh, you're a good singer, you're a good singer, you're a good singer. You're not gonna have solo careers, but we're gonna put you all together and make this one big super group. No, they came together as a girl band. And that's why they lasted so long and had so much success. But I don't know, this is just my opinion. I, I, I'm really biased towards these uh, you know, competition shows because I'm somebody who was rejected from them. <laughs> I mean, the truth is the truth. I think these these things don't create lasting artists anymore. I think when they first started out, you know, Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood, Daughtry. I mean, there's a real select few that you can name who have had lasting success. It's just entertainment, man. So I'm actually surprised that they lasted this long. I'm really happy for them that they lasted this long. In the end, I'm, I'm again, I'm not surprised that they broke up. So uh, I don't know if I have any Fifth Harmony fans out there. I just wanted to give like my quick opinion on this whole breakup or whatever you want, hiatus, whatever you want to call it. They're, I think they call it a hiatus because sometime in the future, they're probably going to be like, yo, can we can we try another Fifth Harmony album? The same is, you know, One Direction. They said we're going to take a break. From, they never said they're breaking up. They said they're taking a hiatus from One Direction because obviously they want to leave the door open for future opportunities. So there could be a chance that Fifth Harmony comes back. There could be a chance that One Direction comes back. 
um i don't know if i have any fifth harmony fans on my channel let me know what you guys think uh if you're sad about this if you're ha happy that they're going their separate ways to pursue solo careers if you think it's a stupid idea i don't know i personally think it's the best idea that i, I think it's the best thing that they can do for themselves as musicians but yeah that that's just that's just my my take uh, if you guys want to like leave a comment let me know what you think about it that's it for today's video just like a quick little music news type of thing i might try and do like a weekly news thing on like different music topics if i can like keep it up because i, I kind of like being able to keep up with the music news and stuff i just want to find a way to make it interesting but um if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you are subscribed thank you very much i appreciate you thanks to my patrons on patreon if you guys want to help support my channel you can join there will be a link in my description and as always i got more videos coming more instrumentals more originals and tomorrow i got some merch coming in i got a new lens coming in because i'm using my old lens right now i just sold my 18 to 35 sigma lens anyway thank you guys for watching these were my thoughts on fifth harmony and uh leave a comment down below let's start a discussion all right, as always, be legendary, love you, and see you tomorrow.